I want to ask you, why do you like hurting yourself? Let's talk about it. What's going on, Closer to God Ministries? Welcome back to another righteous, spirit-filled episode. Today, I hope to get you closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Hallelujah, amen. We gotta just rejoice for a minute because God is good. Our God is a magnificent God. He gave you and me another day, and I am truly blessed to be here. I can't fix my lips up to complain. Before I get any further in this video, man, I wanna shout out our sponsor of this video, The Coldest Water. Link is in the description if you would like to purchase one of their water bottles. Also, if you are in need of prayer, if you are going through a season and you don't know what's at the other end or you're just going through life in itself, what I want you to do is I want you to drop a comment down below what you're going through in your first name because I want to pray for you. And this channel is dedicated to getting people closer to God and it doesn't matter what you're going through because I may have not have been through what you're going through, but I definitely know who understands it and knows how to get you back on the path and that is why I wanna pray for you. Today I wanna ask all of my people that deal with anger issues, you know, why do you like hurting yourself? You're angry at the world, you're angry at everybody and I want you to realize that when you are so angry in the world, you're not hurting anybody but yourself. If you're going out in the world, you're driving your car angry, you're going to Walmart and you're in there angry, I want you to understand that the only person you're hurting is yourself. Think about being locked in a concrete room, very small, and there just being a pile of rocks in front of you. And every time you get angry, every time you get enraged, you pick up a rock and you throw it at the wall and it comes back and hits you every time. And you keep doing this over and over and over again until you've drained all the life out of yourself. Everybody outside of that room on the other side of the door, they look at you and say, hey, that's an angry person. And they go on and live their life. I tell you, the way that you live your life is the way you're gonna go out. So if you're angry at your time of death, when people are looking at your body in the casket, don't be surprised if you have a disturbed look on your face. Man, you cannot have the love of God, the peace of God that he gives us, the fulfillment of what he gives us from the Holy Spirit and be angry. It just, it just does not happen. And if you are angry, maybe we need to do some, some deep looking within ourselves to get rid of this. And I wanna tell you that you must go you know, down in prayer, asking our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to remove this spirit of anger out of your life so you can love. Not only can you love people of this world, but you can love yourself as one of God's children and God's creation because the rocks that you cast out come back and hit you every time and they keep the wound open. The flesh is exposed, but you are gonna pray to ask God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to heal these open flesh wounds. I know it's painful. I know letting go of anger is hard. And I've done plenty of videos on forgiveness. Sometimes the reason or the source of your anger is rooted and you need to forgive. Forgive yourself and forgive others. But God has the power to forgive you. You have the authority to forgive others. But much of you, many of you don't like to hear that. Today I wanna to read you a couple scriptures from the book of truth, the book of life, that'll help set you free. Psalms 37, verse eight. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Free not yourself, it tends only to evil. Let's keep going. Proverbs 14, verse 29. Whoever is slow to anger has great understanding, but he who has a hasty temper exalts folly, foolishness. You with your anger, you only stir up foolishness. It's not the people around you that's angry, got a problem, sometimes you gotta look at yourself. James chapter one, verse 20, and this is, this will be one of the last ones I read you. Well, hold on, hold on, I'll give you another one. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. You cannot say that you are living righteous, walking around angry. Just doesn't work like that. And here's the last one, I swear, here's the last one, I promise. Ephesians chapter four, verse 26. Be angry and do not sin, do not let the sun go down in your anger. Many of us go to bed angry and instead of praying, 
to have this spirit removed from us before we close our eyes and just letting it go, we go to bed angry. Oftentimes, if you go to bed angry, chances are you're gonna wake up and your morning is gonna be chaos. You didn't go to bed focused on God, you're not gonna wake up focused on God, and you're gonna, you're gonna be waking up looking to find another rock on the ground to throw at the wall and it's gonna come back and hit you every time. Stop being so angry. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, smash that like button, drop a comment down below because I want to pray for you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Go in peace, go in love, stay blessed, be humble in all of God's blessing because I'm only shooting at gun barrel straight. Bow.